is from Igor Slipstov. Slipstov, uh, uh, yes, it's me. Uh, I'm ready to present my talk. Let me share the okay. screen. Um, oh, it's it says that I cannot start screen share. Why uh, the other participant is sharing? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, um, uh, do, you, uh, do you see my um, presentation? Yes. Yes, okay. So, <laughs> uh, I'll, um, <clears throat> Well, we consider a problem of generating words of context-sensitive uh, language uh, deterministically yet with no um, specific requirements for uh, its uh, distribution on the example of type, uh, type lambda calculus. Um, uh, let me start with the bottom line. <laughs> uh, um, well, these generators are useful in particular for property-based testing and um, in this talk, I'm uh, going to shed a light on a key idea of how uh, one can implement a generator of uh, words of context sensitive for language. Uh, well, on the example of uh, simply typed uh, lambda calculus, um, which is of uh, particular interest for property based testing uh, of, uh, functions, of uh, functions that work with variable domain and uh, dependencies as objects. Uh, first of all, um, well, I would like to recall the idea of property-based uh, testing as the possible application of our generator, um, which is to formalize a property of testing unit, uh, say function, uh, specify a generator of test cases and check the property uh, on a large sample of generated test cases. Uh, for example, um, well, Let's say, um, uh, let's consider the, the example when one uh, writes a function uh, g that uh, searches for a root of parametric equation given by a function f. The traditional way of testing is to check whether the value of the function uh, g uh, satisfies the equation for a finite set of uh, handwritten parameters a, uh, usually boundary ones. In the property-based testing, we define a property that function g uh, must uh, satisfy um, as um, uh, given here, um, where uh, r is a set of uh, uh, parameters. Given a generator of parameters, the testing framework uh, is able to generate a sample of uh, some parameters and uh, check the property for each one. If everything goes well, the report is possible, which still does not 100% uh, guarantee that there is no error. Uh, otherwise, the falsifying test case is reported, uh, and that uh, indicates that uh, we have a problem. Uh, we have a problem. We have an error. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, if you want 100% guarantee an absence of uh, errors you have to uh, use the advanced uh, type system and uh, statically uh, prove that uh, your program is uh, well typed and it uh, has no um, error. Uh, there, there are a few requirements for the generator of test cases. Uh, it must be deterministic and it must cover all possible test cases. Um, Note that uh, neither the uniform distribution nor any other distribution requirement is in the list. Uh, the generator uh, may be of unspecified distribution. However, it has to be deterministic, covering, and uh, fast enough. Moreover, uh, it should be configurable in order to reduce a total time of searching for a falsifying test case uh, by uh, changing uh, the distribution with parameters. Uh, Property-based uh, testing frameworks provide uh, combinators to define a, a generator for con context-free language. However, uh, an efficient generator of uh, context-sensitive language requires programming both data and control flow 
with uh, the uh, advanced combinators. Uh, consider uh, type lambda calculus, uh, which is uh, the uh, simple um, functional uh, programming language as an example of context sensitive uh, language. Um, the language of untapped lambda calculus is context free. Therefore, uh, there is a, uh, there is a, uh, uh, there is simple but, but um, extremely inefficient um, method uh, to generate untapped um, lambda term by gener generating uh, untapped one and uh, then uh, filtering. Um, all the well-typed uh, lambda terms. Uh, this method is useless due to uh, enormous number of untyped lambda terms per one uh, uh, typed one. Uh, the, the method uh, we uh, uh, the, the method we use is to generate a term by uh, induction of the structure. Uh, using one of the typing rules uh, on each uh, level um, or node of uh, abstract syntax tree to generate uh, alternatives. Uh, the list of uh, typing rules um, are uh, on the uh, bottom of the slide. The detailed algorithm uh, um, uh, is pre presented uh, here. Um, The uh, generator is parameterized with a goal type, a context, uh, depth and size restrictions, and a uh, few parameters of uh, the algorithm uh, as uh, the, uh, these um, uh, weights and number of, um, uh, well, uh, it tries. Um, When a complex syntax element is chosen to be generated, there is a chance that no appropriate subterm can be generated at all or in the reasonable time. Uh, this case cannot be uh, detected statically. For example, um, uh, consider uh, a non-productive generator, nothing, that is defined uh, as, as here. Um, uh, an alternative of non-productive uh, nothing with uh, productive uh, string um, uh, is stuck once generator uh, enters nothing due to uh, eager semantic of uh, this um, combinator. Therefore, we must consider a case of fallback uh, to step back and choose another alternative uh, on the uh, node of syntax tree. We limit the number of uh, fallbacks to prevent exponential time and make the last attempt uh, in the so-called super limited uh, mode that is guaranteed uh, to construct a maybe simple but term uh, in a constant time uh, in, um, if, if there is any. Uh, now when the method and particular algorithm are presented, uh, I'd like to de uh, describe the application uh, of the generator of type lambda terms. Since lambda terms represent uh, programs, concepts, and even proofs uh, due to um, isomorphism, uh, the generator may be used to, uh, may be useful to test functions that work with uh, variable uh, dependencies and variable domains. Uh, that includes testing uh, reductions on terms, translations. Um, it includes testing uh, compilers, interpreters, and so on. Uh, for instance, we have used uh, um, it to test our JavaScript library uh, that works with serializable uh, lambda terms uh, and um, uh, manage a reduction strategy. One may consider using the generator directly as a randomizer of a um, value that depends on its context. Uh, uh, to sum up, uh, we propose a method of generating words uh, of context sensitive language uh, on the example of simply typed lambda calculus. The generator is suitable for property based testing uh, of uh, functions of lambda terms or objects with variable dependencies. Uh, it was implemented with FastCheck library. Um, 
and was successfully used to test our JavaScript library. Uh, thank you for your attention. Um, if you uh, have uh, any question, I'd like to answer. You. Questions? Questions? I think there is no questions.